This is shigui toxin. This is a toxin that's potentially found in some fish. It's a type of foodborne toxin that again is heat stable like we've seen with the other two types of foodborne toxins that involve fish. The potential fish that carry this toxin include predatory reef fish. This includes the barracuda, snapper, the moray eel, the parrotfish, grouper, tigerfish, and amberjack. This is a toxin that occurs during times of red tide. The red tide is a change of the dinoflagellates that live in the ocean water and there's times that there's increased amounts of these dinoflagellates that produce this particular toxin. The fish carry the toxin and the amount of toxin in the respective fish increases via the process of bioaccumulation. So the dinoflagellates themselves are the ones that create the toxin. Those dinoflagellates are consumed here by the smaller fish. Then a medium sized fish will come and eat those smaller fish and then increase the amount and concentration of toxin within that fish. And then the fish that's ultimately consumed by the human has consumed many of these medium sized fish who in turn have consumed hundreds if not thousands of the smaller fish who in turn have consumed millions if not billions of these small dinoflagellates and that's the process of bioaccumulation and again these fish that the human will have consumed are likely going to be predatory reef fish this toxin is very interesting as it has such a constellation of symptoms many of which are neurological patients going to complain of a pounding headache dizziness and ataxia they're going to have some myalgia and muscle aches some paresthesias and some alteration of the senses where things that are cold will feel hot and things that are hot will feel cold nausea and vomiting and diarrhea can occur but again the most notable symptoms of this poisoning and toxin are these bizarre neurological symptoms which also include the sensation that the teeth are loose within the mouth some paresthesias, metallic taste, myalgia, ataxia, vertigo, pounding headache and again, the mechanism of action here involves these dinoflagellates, which produce the shigua toxin, which is heat stable. And this toxin itself, when ingested by humans, will bind and hold open voltage gated sodium channels. The treatment is unfortunately only supportive, and unfortunately, some of these neurological symptoms can persist for months or even years. One thing to consider is that these symptoms can potentially mimic such neurological diseases as multiple sclerosis. And you should remember that the red tide algae blooms are the ones that contain the dinoflagellates that are responsible for causing shigua poisoning.